Thank mm-hmm. you.
Okay guys, so let's see what have we done until now. I fixed the HDMI port that was broken because I bought this one from eBay. It was a used one from a 42 inch uh, TV. Mine it's a uh, 60 inch TV. So I bought this used and uh, the Ticom board also. Uh, they both was dead in uh, my TV. So, because this one was from a 42 inch and uh, my TV is uh, 60 inch, uh, mine it's uh, full HD. It's full HD and uh, the board was uh, was uh, at HD ready resolution. So I had a problem with the screen stretching out or out of the borders. So to fix that, you must swap everything from uh, EEPROM, FLASH and etc. from the old board to the new one. So, this one, this one here, this one here, you see, one, let me remember, one, two, three. I think also this small here, it need to be swap also. So, one, two, three, four. Okay. And from the from the TICOM board, there are also two chips on, on the underneath the TICOM board. Swap th those two also. If you if you want to have the same uh, firmware with uh, the old one, if you hadn't any problem with the firmware. So one, two, three, four, and two on uh, TICOM board if you don't want to have trouble with the resolution. And the most important, in the corner here, there is a small uh, resistance, row 410 and row 309. So we, uh, 409, sorry. So we swap from 409 to 410 from uh, to convert from HD ready to full HD. Let's test it. Okay. The moment of truth. Let's plug the HDMI. Nice. It's okay. Remote. So we see we have HDMI 2 ready. Let's swap. And we can see there'll be a, there'll be a screen. I think the resolution is fine. Yeah, the resolution is fine. So as you can see, the resolution is fine, it's in the borders, it's not stretching or anything, and the quality, it's, uh, it's great, yeah, the quality, it's great. So thank you guys and see you next time.